Hello everyone, welcome to Payment Tech Media. In this video, you are going to learn how to convert an octo number to a decimal number. So as we talked about earlier in previous videos, octo is base 8 system and decimal is base 10 system. And we talked about that for every octo number, we have 3 bits. So the octo numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and decimal numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in octo, we can see 0 to 7, total of 8. In decimal, we can see 0 to 9, total of 10. So let's say we have octo number of 5, 3, 7, 1. And we want to convert this to a decimal number. What do we need to do first? We have to separate them 5, 3, 7, 1, and we have to write 3 bits per octo. Why 3 bits? Because every octo number has 3 bits. Depending on the value, some of the bits turned on, some of them turned off. So let's put the decimal values for these octo numbers. We have 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, now for 5, which one do we have to turn on? 4 and 1. For 3, which one do we have to turn on? 2 and 1. For 7, all of them turned on. For 1, only this one turned on. This is our binary. Now we can put these binaries together. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Let's double check. So 101101011111001. Okay, now we can put the decimal values for these binary numbers. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048. And you might say where these number is coming from. It's basically 2 to the power of bit position. This is bit position 0, bit position 1, bit position 2, 3, 4, and so on. And 2 to the power of bit position. Why 2? Because of the binary. Binary, we have zeros and 1. Okay, now we need to add the ones that are already being turned on. In this case, 2048 is on, 512 is on. 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, and 1 turned on. Let's add these numbers together. So the first one, 2048 plus 512 plus 128 is on, plus 64 is on, 32, 16, 8 and 1. So this is 39 and this is 20. This is 8 and 2. So 5371 octo number is equivalent to 2809 decimal number. Now let's take a look using calculator. So changing the view of standard view to programmer view and making sure octo is selected because here our number 5371 that's the octo number we want to convert to decimal so we want to make sure OCT is selected here octo and here as you noticed we have only 0 to 7 8 and 9 is grayed out okay let's enter this octo number 5371 and as we can see here decimal value of 2809 as we can see here, 2,809. Therefore, 5, 3, 7, 1 octo number is equivalent to 2,809 decimal number. In this example, we used binary as a bridge, going from octo number to binary and then converting binary to decimal number. Now let's use the same octo number directly converting to decimal using the place value positions. So let's put the place values for the octo number here, all the way to the right, place value position 0. This is place value position 1, 2, 3, and 4. 
In octo, base is 8. Why? Because octo number is base 8 system. What are the values? 8 to the power of 0 is 1. Any number to the power of 0, it's 1. 8 to the power of 1 is 8. 8 to the power of 2 is 64. 8 to the power of 3 is 512. And 8 to the power of 4 is 4096. Okay, let's put this octo number into these place values. So 1 goes here. 7 goes here. 3 goes here. 5 goes here. So what this means, 5 times 512 plus 3 times 64 plus 7 times 8 plus 1 times 1, which 5 times 512 is 2560 plus 3 times 64 is 192 plus 7 times 8 is 56 plus 1 times 1 is 1 which if we add all these numbers we get 2809 as we can see here. So this is an example of converting octo number to decimal number using the place value of octo number. In this example, we directly converted octo to decimal. So there are different ways we can directly convert an octo number to a decimal using its place value or we can use a binary as a bridge. So first converting octo number to a binary and then converting binary to a decimal. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. And to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Have a good day.